Hi gang, James Alcott here. Welcome to Hurricanes Fan Reaction Pre-Game. Tonight your Carolina Hurricanes play host to the Winnipeg Jets at 7 p.m. in PNC Arena in Raleigh. But first, we've got lots of news and notes to let you know about for tonight's game. UC Okunen's making headlines as he's been put on waivers and most likely has played his last game in a Carolina Hurricanes uniform. His $3 million salary was just too much to, to handle for the Carolina Hurricanes roster anymore. With his low production on the third line, he was just no more, not, not any more needed for the Carolina Hurricanes. I could have come up with a better word, but I just can't think of anything right now. Because I'm in shock, ladies and gentlemen. Shock. I was not seeing this coming today from the juice. It's very terrible news. Terrible news. Troubling news. But we have to move on. But with more news and notes, I'm going to swing it over to my colleague, Rich Caseglia. Rich? Thanks, James, and we do have quite a few things to talk about tonight. We've got Joe Corvo and Chad LaRose back in the lineup after coming back from their respective injuries. Also, Justin Peters is going to be filling in in net for Dan Ellis, who's uh, out with his own injury. And we have John Muse, who's going to be backing Peters up until Ellis is well enough to join the team in a few weeks. But the big news coming out of tonight is Alexander Semin. Semin, who has not had more than a one-year deal over the past few seasons with any team, has just been signed to a five-year extension with the Carolina Hurricanes worth $35 million. Now that's $7 million per season. Wow, Rich, that's great news. Can you fill us in on the Simmons stats for those who don't know? To answer your question, uh, we've had Alexander Semin with eight goals, 22 assists for 30 points on the season, and he's a plus 18 rating, which is uh, leading the team at the moment. Is that true? Most of it's true, Rich, but Simmons plus minus is not leading the team. Eric Stahl is actually leading the team with the best plus minus. Well, I stand corrected. Uh, who needs those fast checkers anyway? You're fired! No, just kidding. That one works for me. Uh, now, just before we take it back to you in the studio, James, I just want to make one quick note about our coach, Kirk Muller. Uh, saw his post-game interview the other night. Couldn't agree with everything he said more. Uh, tell, talking about the team, how people need to start earning their spot and uh, stop slacking by thinking that they're just going to keep getting by and we're going to take it. You know, we're not going to take it anymore. It's at the point now, five games in a row with the losses, uh, you know, can't do it anymore. Can't keep happening. So hopefully that lit a fire under uh, some of the people's butts. I'll say hats off to Coach Muller. Uh, hats off to the Hurricanes. Let's get a big win tonight. Looking for a big win over the... <laughs> over the Winnipeg Jets. I just couldn't think of it. I wanted to say something else. Over the Winnipeg Jets tonight, uh, looking for, you know, we're going to stick with it. We're going to go for a 3-2 win over the Jets tonight. Let's see if my prediction from last game with the Devils can, uh, can hold true. Uh, back to you, James. <laughs> Thanks, Rich. You're an entertainer over there, huh? Well, last thing before I let you go, the trade deadline is fast approaching. April 3rd is the trade deadline. And Jim, Jim Rutherford has been quoted saying he's on the lookout for a top shutdown defenseman. So be on the lookout for that. It's very exciting news. Hopefully we can pull the trigger on some deal. All right, Kings. Let's end this five-game winless streak tonight, baby. I'm looking for a win tonight, and I'm really hoping they do. Until next time, take care, my friends.